Howdy. So this is uh, my little attempt at an outrigger, and really what I'm really what I'm doing is I'm, I'm working with this Dupont foam and uh, making boats. Uh, that's my last one up there, and it's really it was really a good boat. You know, um, I have videos on it. The only thing is, is you know, I had some design flaws. One is that the hull is shaped in a way that it kind of pulls the water up over the top, which is not a good thing for a boat. Um, but this this is this was actually, you know, through strange, uh, this was going to be just a, a shallow V boat, and, uh, it would, so it's really rough attempt, um, but, but I did some things right, um, and, and I'm still learning how, I'm still figuring out the best way to glue this, you know, I probably should have just went with the, like I said, the 3M is the best stuff to use. I might even go get some of that from Home Depot now. <laughs> Maybe I have to go to Walmart now. But uh, one thing I one thing I, I made away with is that I got this little servo out of a uh, E flight, and uh, and I got a real good uh, got a real good rudder there. You know, when I drove it today, when I gave it a test drive, man, it really responded. It just it just uh, went well. Um, what else did I do good? Another thing I really like is mounting the drive shaft in silicone. And I tell you the reason is, now you guys might not have this problem, but I'm get I, I have trouble getting those things lined up so I get a lot of vibration. And that just that just chews up it just absorbs the vibration. I don't want to do it real fast because my kitty's here. Um, these are all parts I just order on eBay. Uh, very rough. What I did here is I did an epoxy. An electrical epoxy, just some stuff I dumpstered um, in between, and just you know I just rubbed it on there, and then and then pulled the boards apart and used them to to adhere to each other. Um, this is all the electronics. The receiver is out of my E-Revo. I put them in a little spice jar and sealed it, and then I actually put silicone around the around the connector there. I do kind of like how it has a Mad Max look there. You know, it's like the you know, the power source. So I like that. Um, I had made a mount for the for the motor, and uh, this is out of a shark vacuum that I dumpstered. I had made a mount for the motor, and then I put it in there, and, and it didn't really move. So I was like, uh, okay, I'll just zip tie it, and that way I can come right back out. This was a little metal uh, business card case that, that, had, that had a hinge in the top opened up, so I just hammered it around, and did some stuff and cut it up and so now my biggest mistake was on these uh spawn sponsons sponsons i believe they're called uh i had them real real narrow real pointy i thought they were supposed to slice through the water but they got to hold the boat up so uh so it wanted to go but it just dug in so I, I'm actually gluing some stuff now. I love I love putting it up on these little Traxxas tires. You know, it's like a real, a real mechanic shop. Uh, you know, the silicone is rough. I know. Uh, one thing about me is I don't I don't build real patiently. I just kind of want to gather gather data, gather data. You know, if I knew what I really wanted, I might just buy a a nice outrigger. <laughs> but I do like one thing I do like about the outrigger is the simplicity of the. I like that straight hole. That's kind of nice, you know. It's got a nice, it's got a nice kind of a Star Trek-y feeling to it. So I do like that. Battery's also in here. Um, you can't beat the TQI 2.4 gigahertz for uh, these receivers are just superb, man. I just have had such great luck with them. Um, I pull it, I pull it out of my e Revo for all my projects. Actually, no, I bought it. I bought another set. So this is a waterproof uh, XL5 um, speed control. Uh, and stuff so so there's just some stuff well okay so uh oh i was gonna tell you about my mistake well what i found about the doing the epoxy here is that this stuff sands easily so if you have that hard epoxy in there then when i'm sanding it uh you know it just doesn't sand right um now i got the uh i got the elmer's waterproof glue i just got that the only problem with that stuff is god it's taken a long time <laughs> to dry, you know, uh, it, it dries on the outside and then, you know, the in, the innards 
I want to dry. But the good thing about this Elmer's glue is then I can shape it and I can sand it into a nice hole and paint it. I'm not great at that stuff, but good enough. So, um, you know, so that's what I'm looking forward to doing. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, I, I just drilled right through the hole with a drill bit. And this was a dowel out of a, out of a clothes drying rack that I dumpstered. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of good dumpstered parts there. I do love that I can get on eBay and order up the, the U joints and the drive shafts and all that stuff. And I don't think I'm really using the right drive shaft. I think you're supposed to use a different thing for that drive shaft, but, uh, so far so good. I'm gonna give you a back end look at it and a front end look and, uh, you know, it looks good enough, huh? It's the prop angle. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure you want to see it when it's going. I'd, I'd rather see it when it's going too. But uh, <laughs> oh, whether or not they go is up to the good Lord. <laughs> but don't they have a great Star Trek look and feel? You know, I, I like. I like that. I like that thing about them. You know. But I do need to. I do need to make a hole with that Elmer's, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, a shallow V or. A, or another outrigger and just because uh, with the Elmer's I can shape it up and then I can sand it and then I can kind of call it you know I guess I guess I got to figure out my I guess I got to get a good floating boat before I really do a nice one but uh, that's kind of what I'm looking forward to is getting a boat that, that floats and drives good but again I was really impressed at how this one steered uh, um, that one that last one I did I, I did some neat stuff I hooked up a cool hinge and everything for the for the rudder, you know, but, uh, and it steered, you know, it steered fine, but not, not as good as this one, so, so there it is, there's my little, my little invention, um, I got, I got the, the blocks drying down there for, uh, you know, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some good sponsons, is what they're called, I like that, I love learning words about stuff, you know, it's been a lot of fun. They do have a great look, man. I, and when I first saw those outriggers, I was like, "That was terrible looking." But you know, you can get them if they get a little, uh, if they get a little point to them and a little this and that. Then they got the you know good Klingon look, you know, uh, Romulan ship or something, you know. Um, if not, if when people do them just straight, and then these two are straight, it's like, well, well, that's a little boring, you know. But I especially like the, you know, look at all that, the power source. <laughs> it's so Mad Max, isn't it great? All right. Well, thanks. I'm kind of lonely. That's why I'm letting this go for so long. Well, I'll show you. I'll do another video about my E-Revo there.